Welcome back, everybody. Today we have a beautiful Galewing game showing off when we think that we're going to go to three on three and play for the typical stabilize on three with three stars, go to four, figure out the game from there type strat, but quickly turn on our head and change direction. And we get a hold of an early triple. And we get a core for APM elementals and turn that into big minions. Build your own elementals via Major Domo, Party Elemental, and Cycling Elementals with the aid of Recycling Wraith. And then eventually get to a position where we need to counter our opponent. Another Elemental Board. Hmm. How do you counter big stat Elemental Boards? I'll let you guys find that out. All right. Enjoy. Is it ever double party elemental? Just discover a two star? Level long curve? I mean, I would think it would be. Party time, excellent. Excellent. Is it party time? Excellent. Pair maybe a comp? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's value. In a game where we don't have mechs and we do have elementals, obviously. Like, it gives you direction into it. Tripling in the fours is really strong right now. So, like, you have the opportunity to potentially just take a four star next turn. If we got the triple offered. But most of the time, we just kind of... Typical leveling curve from this point. Because it's excellent. Yay! Got the tie. Yo, JHG and Play and Wasted. Thank you guys for the followers. Well, that's a Golden Party Elemental. I guess that's cool again. Yeah. All right, leveling on a weird curve, but... Excellent! <laughs> Domo, probably. Doomsayer's good, Domo's good, Wildfire's good. They're all actually good cards. Doomsayer's clearly bad in this scenario. But the question becomes Domo or Wildfire? Wildfire is significantly more tempo right now. But we're just all in on elementals now, right? If you take a Domo. Domo is more upside. Domo has longer turn value. Yeah, I'm not freezing for it, but yeah, it's a thing. Party Elemental or Domo? Getting buffed. We played one Elemental, so make this a 8-5 and then a 7-5. It's a little bit better for the short term. They're both fairly permanent minions. Oh no, we lose to this. Say it ain't so. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm happy with this as a start. Can't complain too much. Really can't complain there. Now you have to make an argument whether or not the two gold in the form of the alley cat and the pair on the board is worth buying. With the four. You can roll, sell, buy. Oh, you take the, t the uh, pair. Now I would... Obviously, since I already played part of the turn, I already knew what I was doing, but... That was going to be by the, the pair, because we take the two gold and we want to level next turn anyway. Since we have to level to be able to get the four star from the, the falling hero power. 
And if we do roll and we get a hold of anything that's an elemental, then we're like, yay, we got an elemental. But then the next turn we need to level and either just roll and do nothing, or level and sell off the elemental that we just bought, which gets half of the party elemental buff anyway. Not you, Sarah. Say it ain't so. That's a nice hit for him. The Nest Matron. That's pretty cool. Tripled into a Nest Matron, got a proc off of it. Yo, you're the rocket. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Bofus Gophers. Ah, uh, pass. Ah, uh, pass. Yeah, we'll still take it. Ooh, both buffs over in the Cyclone. We'll still take it. It's fine. Could roll triple sell by, but theoretically we want this triple. The theoretical triple value out of this, this beautiful tabby cat. Yo, Nalid as well. Thank you for the follows. There must be nobody on this evening. <laughs> must be nobody to watch. Yeah, the big downside of this line that we didn't talk about is that it's really boring for the short term because our turns are like one motion. That's it. Do one thing, sit there for 60 seconds. It's a huge downside. And no came from YouTube? Hell yeah. Welcome on in. Thanks for uh, for making the, the jump across platforms. I know that one's tough. I typically am on the opposite side of it, you know, the, the Twitch to YouTube side. But recently, now that I'm making YouTube content, I've been watching people's YouTube content too, trying to learn from others that do it well. Both platforms have a lot of viability for this kind of content. Pretty cool. Yo, Don Quixote. <laughs> Don Quixote. <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well. Hmm. Hmm. The Frog Song. That is a turn six hook tusk, by the way. In case you were wondering. Turn six hook tusk, Lord. Two 18 health, 16, 18 health songs. Songs. Taunts. Shit. One time. One fucking time. Is it a six or is it a five, chat? Five, six, five, six. Well, there you go. Split decision. I like that. I like the six here a lot, actually. I hate this six. It's terrible. Sully's great. But we don't take the free roll. Nomi Master? I mean, Nomi's bad, but Master's fine. Master of Elements is completely fine. Like, that would be a good thing to hit. But I much prefer to go to 5, shoot for the 6, take the highest tempo option. And then be there on, on 5. If you play for the 6-star line, or the 5-star line, and you miss, we have no direction. We're just gonna cycle Elementals and buff up a cycle in the rest of the game. I, mean, I don't hate it, but I personally don't like all the talking at the start of YouTube videos, but I guess it's good enough to make me stay. I mean, you can skip it. That's the, the reality of it, is that if you don't like it, you're free to skip it. There are plenty of people that have given the opposite feedback as well, that they like that content. It's easier to remove it from your own side than for me to somehow add it for people that, you know, can't possibly add it post-production. Some people are trying to learn the game, and honestly, that kind of stuff is important to know the right, like, the mindset going into the game. What is important about it? 
Some people just like high roll videos, and there's no fault to that. It's just a different audience. What? What? This one's close, whether or not we do this. I mean... Damn, Bob. Really can't be much nicer, not gonna lie. <laughs> For a non-APM type hero, we sure did take a nice turn here. Okay! Okay, 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 okay! This is why we, we like being on 5, after all. The skipping effect, the analytics, or ranking factors, it depends on what portions of the video people watch. But I can tell you analytically, more people watch the intro than skip it. By a good margin. The people that tend to say stuff are the ones that don't like things. Like, I can watch what exactly what people watch and what percentages they skip and where they skip them and all that kind of stuff. I have my reasons for doing it the way I do. Can you add a chapter cut? It's already in the plans. Fully, fully aware it needs to be done, but I don't have the resources to do it up front. I gotta get the, the right person on the right job. And it will be fixed at a later point. It's just not yet. Not yet. Man. Alright. I think it's just the Bran. As much as I like Bran. So, uh, which one would you like to buff? We can take the triple into a six next turn. Or we'd have to sell off another minion this turn. I'm not going to drop a domo in this situation. Party goes. with the Instead of the brand before? I don't think so. Not in this situation. With three elementals on the board, you get three-fourths of two stats every unit. Brand doesn't generate that much value in this comp. Think Millhouse APM elementals are still strong with a refreshing change? Yeah, it's okay, because you just play two recycling wraiths and it's the same as the old one. Still perfectly fine. Alright, well. This piece of shit high rolled us. At least he didn't run a runner runner. Still fine, it's not nearly as good. Like it's not almost auto win off finding a recycling wraith. Bobby Any reason I'd level Not really If I can open an extra board spot Then I can play down a droplet Before I, I do this So we should look. If we don't get it, we don't get it. It's exact gold. We get nada. 
Uh, I didn't click that. If you were told me I was going to get all Tavern Tempest, I would have kept that brand around, you know, like... Damn, Bobby. <laughs> it's just like every Tavern Tempest in the world should have kept the brand, dude. Should have kept the brand. Should have kept the brand? Oh, into a, a smogger? Should have kept the brand. <laughs> would have been nice. Would have been nice. Pretty good. Take the spore. Selfless for the long term. Nah. No. Shit. It was too slow. It's too slow. So sad. We're going the EPL. <laughs> we're flying to the fucking moon. Is what we're doing. That's what happens toward the end of the stream. You do this for six, seven hours straight. Just a little bit behind on my thought process. My commentary's gone down a little bit. Last game of the day. All you can do is laugh at yourself. 5% to kill him there. We got our triple at least. That's cool. We can do a genie. It's okay. Take a couple of these elementals to start. It's okay, guys. This will be five less gold in four turns. It'll be fine. We can level up. <laughs> Man. Man. Alright. That's, uh gonna be unfortunate is what we're gonna call that one whatever don't care about that one don't really care about that one then we're gonna have to drop out of here an extra poison's pretty good showing beasts after all now we've done our job with the APM elemental no no in the hand come on Ideally speaking, oh, he, he killed himself. <laughs> he conceded. But ideally speaking, we can get this to shield here or to poison here. That's going to be difficult to do without this dying, you know? Maybe if it gives itself poison, that's cool. Yeah, the, the real out, the real, uh, detriment of not pushing that hero power correctly is that we don't get a an extra five star on a turn that probably doesn't exist in this game that realistically it's not even negative to us damn killed off his board i built was crap i needed things to die you little shit <laughs> nah it's all right i need the fucking things to die for poison <laughs> Nah, 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 that's fine. Just funny. How dare you so- Oh, sure, show up now. Sure, dude. Hmm. Sure, 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 sure. It's a big elemental board, right? Like, the spores of why we're here. So we pivot from APM Ellie's into what well, was really just Domo plus a golden party elemental, right? Plus uh, one recycling wraith. It's like a baby version of APM Ellie's. Kept the extra stats around to give these things, like, you know, 16 buffs of party elemental, 22 here. And then we pivot out of all of it anyway. The brand's pretty funny. Like, I love having that brand around. But it's hard to gauge whether or not two extra stats or 1.6 extra stats off of each elemental 
is more value than getting Brand to Battle Cry buff with Smogger and or Tavern Tempest. There's only two that really have a tangible benefit. Scams? I mean, would you keep a three a six three Domo on the board or put a Spore at this point in the game? Pivot appropriately. Don't you do it? All right, thank you. <laughs> Got the Spore. It would have been so sad. Yay! No! Yay! No! <laughs> GG. Alright, we get the win off of that one. It was really just a build, a build an elemental comp, and then we pivoted toward good minions at the end of the game. Over on turn 12. Easy games.